Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan was filmed on Sunday leading a Death to America chant during a visit to Iran. Farrakhan, who has been in the news in recent weeks after he referred to Jews as termites, met with senior officials in the Islamic Republic. The controversial black Muslim leader gave a speech Sunday at Tehran University. The country is officially marking the 39th anniversary of the seizure of the American embassy after the fall of the Shah. DailyMail.co.uk once 2018 11 5235806802 image of 31,541,459,632,107.jpg height equals 381 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border image share Copy link to paste in your message in his remarks, Farrakhan referred to the United States as the Great Satan and slammed President Donald Trump for re-imposing economic sanctions, according to the Middle East Media Research Institute. Is it not true that you have called America the Great Satan? Farrakhan said. Share this article share, if you believe that, then wouldn't Satan be actively involved in trying to destroy a nation that is set up on submission to the will of God Farrakhan also urged Iranians to persevere and carry forward the revolution. America is making it very hard for Iran to successfully carry out its mission, Farrakhan said. DailyMail.co.uk once 2018 11-5235-809498-6356371 image and 19,1,541,460,484,176.jpg height equals 423 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book Order im share copy link to paste in your message, but if you have the strength to persevere under these hard trials, the victory will be yours. At one point during the speech, Farrakhan began chanting in Farsi, saying death to, before allowing the students to complete the sentence by responding. America. Farrakhan's appearance in Iran outraged conservatives who criticized liberals and Democrats for not denouncing the nation of Islam leader more forcefully. If an R stood next to David Duke, the MSM's hammering would never stop. Fleischer was referring to late singer Aretha Franklin's memorial service in Detroit on August 31. The service was attended by Farrakhan, who stood on stage alongside Clinton, Jesse Jackson, and Al Sharpton. Maybe Obama and the Democrats will finally apologize for their association with this treasonous bigot, tweeted Joel Pollock of Breitbart. Pollock's tweet included a photo of Farrakhan with Barack Obama. The photo was taken in 2005. When Obama was a senator and Farrakhan had been invited to speak at the Congressional Black Caucus. Earlier this year it was revealed that the photographer who snapped the photo, Askia Mohammed, kept the picture secret for fear that it would destroy Obama's chances of being elected president, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution.
JPG height equals 736 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book border img share copy link to paste in your message liberals. On the other hand, noted that Farrakhan has expressed support in the past for Trump. In March 2016, Farrakhan said, Donald Trump. Dada like Trump. He'll take America to hell in a rocket ship. In May of this year, he told a Chicago radio station that Trump may have unwittingly helped his cause by destroying the enemies of the Nation of Islam among them the Department of Justice and the FBI. Trump has been a vocal critic of the Justice Department over its handling of the investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 elections as well as the Hillary Clinton private email server probe. Thousands of Iranians rallied Sunday in commemoration of the 39th anniversary of the takeover and hostage crisis at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, just hours before the re-imposition of all American sanctions lifted by the nuclear deal. The 444-day crisis after the fall of the U.S. allied Shah transfixed America as nightly images of blindfolded hostages played on television sets across the nation. Ultimately, it would be President Jimmy Carter leaving office that saw all 52 captive American diplomats freed. Sunday, hardliners vented their rage at Trump who pulled America out of the nuclear deal struck by his predecessor that the United Nations says Tehran still honors. With crippling sanctions on Iran's vital oil industry set to take effect Monday, Iran's already anemic economy likely will suffer more, though politicians and protesters struck a defiant tone. Today the Iranian nation will show that Mr. Trump is too small to be able to bring Iran to its knees," said Ali Larajani, Iran's parliament speaker.